Hello, ladies and germs, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and butt cheeks. <laughs> My girlfriend's giggling over there. Uh, I'm going to play some Diablo today. What did, did we play Diablo over there? We got some new emotes. I'm waiting on them to get authorized, but as soon as they get authorized, I'll drop them in chat. Um, one is an Are You Serious? Uh, heck and bo Beck and Boy. You guys are going to like that one. And then I also got one of my girlfriend's head. She's wearing some shiny-ass sunglasses and a kitten mask. So Not like you can actually see her, but uh, she got that wild hair going on. It was back when it was green. Like, I don't even know what color green. It was like a, was it like St. Patrick's Day or something? I don't even know. I don't. I don't know. All right, let's pull up my Twitch over here. It's taking a long time to upload this emote. I'm going to have to ask you to kindly upload faster. Let's do a refresh on this. Um, so if you haven't seen, I did upload a video for the uh, con contest entries. And um, still too large. Let me go ahead and post that in chat here for you guys and gals if you want to take a look. It's, uh, it's all the MS Paint drawings that were um, a part of the MS Paint contest that we had going. Uh, I even included a little bonus image in there for one of my viewers that, uh, that for some reason did not enter the contest. I'm very mad at you, sir. I told you to enter a contest. You didn't enter the contest, but you're still getting on YouTube anyway, and you're going to be YouTube famous, and that's all there is to it, and I'll curve. Don't curve. All right, where you at, heckin' bo beckin' boy? We gotta fix this emote before we can go any further. We cannot take a single step more. All right, we need to reduce the size of this. Lock aspect ratio. Let's reduce it by 75%. How's that? Should be good enough, hopefully. Can we save, please? Did it save? Heckin', are you three smalls or now? 125 kilobytes. If that's not small enough, I don't know what's small enough. You better take Heckin' Bo Beckin' Boy and you better upload them into the emotes. All right. R. You, SRS, S R S, upload. Sweet. Well, are you serious? Popped up right away. But my girlfriend's head is still under approval. This is the are you serious emote. <laughs> We got chonkers. We got some little chonchula. We got some chonkers. We got some shoulder. We got some laughing. We got some chimichi chew. And as soon as the other one is uh, approved, we'll be good to go. All right, let me go to my stream manager. Sweet. Man, I'm one. I'm actually one subscriber away from uh, from a new emote slot. So you guys look out for that. I'll put a new emote out as soon as I get another slot. So who are we gonna play today? I feel like our assassin is is pretty well off, but I'd like to get her maybe a couple more levels. I don't know. Um, I would like to play my uh, my druid today or my barbarian. So let's start out by going on my assassin. We'll have some fun. We'll just do a little bit of. Uh, EXP, maybe help somebody out, I don't know. Also, you know, just uh, let's make sure that my stream is actually running. Because, you know, sometimes I'm, an, I'm not a very intelligent person. And, uh... uh I mess up. Uh, I mess up. Uh, there we go. All right, so it's uh, stream is running, stream manager is running. We got our new emotes up. Somebody commented on the uh, on the drawing video already. That's a pretty crazy drawing, they said. 
You getting pinned to the top, Kill Zone 1993. Pinned. Pinned, sir. What's up, Deviant Brute? So this is the MS Paint Contest drawings. If you're Kill Zone 1993, then you got pinned, sir. You got pinned. U twos. U twos plushies. Huh. Hey babe, U twos has plushies now. Hey beautiful lady. U twos has plushies. She not paying attention. She playing. Uh. All right. Well, when you finish, dude. He uh, apparently he's done a couple other like MS Paint drawings. If you uh, if you ever want to check his stuff out, um, I actually found him on YouTube. Believe it or not, um, he subscribed to me a while back, and uh, I remember I I was commenting. I was saying YouTube's has uh, plushies now. The, comp the company you've been buying all them uh, YouTuber things from, you might want to check on there and see if they got any uh, plushies of your YouTubers. Let me see if I can search here. Uh, paint. It's probably a good one. No, dang. Um... Yeah, he does some he does some really crazy MS Paint drawings though. Um, I, I'll have to look it up and maybe maybe post it, but uh, I can't remember where it is right now. It's been too long. What's up, Boro? Oh my god! Boro Zizda. Ain't nothing but bail runs. Bail run, bail run, bail run, bail run, bail run, bail run. Oh yeah, bail run. Bail run. Hell fun. One minute and thirty seconds. Level eighty-three Amazon. What's up, sucker? That's one of them D arrows. Oh yeah, we go make a faith bow. That's right. I forgot. Forgot all about it. Um, you want this lance? Good lord! One of the dogs just farted, and it smells like they pooped in the house. I know my girlfriend's about to say something. You're gonna be like, Lordy Jesus, who pooped in the house? Yeah, Ginger Grandmaster. Ginger Grandmaster, it's uh it doesn't it doesn't mean the same thing as mine. Um, I don't abbreviate my name. My name is Ginger Gaming Mentor. Um, sometimes I'll go by GGM, but uh, but mainly I like to I like to go by the full full title. For that very reason, there are some people out there who have like the name with some abbreviations in it. Uh, where is he at? The Chaos Sanctuary. TP Saku. Ah, a normal game. Um, well, let me play with this uh, this uh, Amazon real quick. I already joined his group and everything. Um, and then we'll we'll do it right after this. No, oh, he's got uh, fanaticism.
Oh, look at this. He's a, um, I've, I've seen these before. He's a bow slash Javazon. Um, it's a, it's a spec that uses both bow and Amazon skills together. It's a very interesting spec. It's not something that I see all the time. Usually if you're going to build bow, you, you stick with bow, and usually if you're going to build Javazon, you stick with Javazon. You don't kind of like, uh, like flip and flop back and forth, so to speak. Give me my mana back. Like, what the hell? I would like to have my mana. I just completely ran out of mana, and there was nothing I could do. And I, I don't even know where the mana was going. I have, like, 13% mana steal on uh, one of my claws. I would think that would be enough to hold me up, but apparently it was not. I have an Ohm Rune, Bora. Freaking crazy. Do I have another job? I would have to check my characters, maybe. There's a possibility. Mana Steel is on which claw? It's on this claw. Let's put the uh, let's put the Jade Talon in the main spot, just to make sure that way the first hit is being the Mana Steel. Dole Rune. Tigerishly, there's a new emo Tigerishly. I don't, I don't think you can use it, but there's a new one. Tekken Bo Beckin boy, the big monster cat. Use again. glowing orb. Not even Diablo can save you from Diablo. I'm going to build a large pole arm to place my infinity rune word in. Just picked up a 4x4. Four four. <laughs> you talking about the one you ordered from Deviant from uh from Etsy? Bed. 
I got no room on this character. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. I got no room on this. Hey, what's up, Letha? I didn't even see you in here, Tigerishly. I wasn't even paying attention. Let's have. Guess I'll I have a halberd if you want it, Deviant Brute. Like, literally a whole halberd. It's pretty cool, too. A suwaya? No, the suwaya. I want a suwaya. Must check suwaya. Not here. Not here. Stole my suwaya and left. That's so rude. That is if a bow dropped, I would have let her have the bow. That is, I think that is just heckin' rude. That is just heckin' rude. That is just heckin' rude. Just steal those suwaya and leave. <laughs> All right, Boro, I'm ready. The 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 evil Amazon stole the stole the loot and ran. Alright, so what are we going to do? Uh, you said normal game? A queue to create the game. Uh, these runes are so cool looking, I swear. I don't know how you did this. I know they're not made out of actual rock. They're made out of uh, like an epoxy or whatever, but... I don't know, the, the mix he's got to make the epoxy, it's like a... It kind of makes it look like granite. Like he's, I guess he's got to have some little bits of something that he's like putting in the epoxy and and making it look real cool. I mean, they're pretty big runes, Deviant Brutes. I don't know if you can, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to do that. I mean, they're, as you can clearly see, they're like the size of my forehead. They're some pretty large runes. You know what would be even cooler? If you just, like, put them in your, <laughs> put the runes in the hood of your car. It's like, oh, yep, I got an infinity car. Or your truck. You got a brand new truck coming. There you go, buddy. See? Look at that. It all fits together like pieces of a puzzle. Yes. The infinity truck. Enigma in the bumper. <laughs> oh, uh, it's just the same game I always make. I'm an idiot because I keep typing in tab. Same game I always make. That's that's sweet. Why is that? No, I didn't type in two ones. Trying to make a fool out of me. Dropping my flawlesses on the ground. They take up too much space. I need them to not take up too much space. Would be nice. So what's the, uh, what is the faith? Faith. 
Faith is Om Ja Lem Eld. Ooh, I think the real trouble is going to be finding an Eld rune. Good luck with that one. I'm going to have to check. I'm this is uh you're going to have to give me a minute. Going to have to give me a minute. All right, I'm going to start slipping through characters here. Hold on. Lum. How do you clear the runes out of an item? Um, a hell rune and a, a tome of town portal. Or a scroll of town portal. I can't remember. One or the other. An ort rune. Oh, yeah, I gotta give this circlet to my Amazon. All right, I'm going to go check my Amazon. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. And uh, this circlet goes to my druid. There you go. I got a hell rune right here. Uh, here's a lamb for the faith recipe. Yeah, it needs a lamb. So a lamb, eld. There's the lamb. And uh, da -da -da -da. it's pretty nice ass charms, man. I just dropped a hell, sir. Somebody picked it up. It, I'm pretty sure it was you, sir. Oh. Probably picked it up by accident. Alright. Still got a couple more options for rune sources. We've got a co, a co, a soul, a soul, an ort. Nope, I'll get on this guy. Do I have a lem? And who's left? We still gotta check our sorceress. There's a good chance it could be on the sorceress. She did pick up a whole bunch of crap recently. Ist, mal, lem, um, yep, there's the ohm. I got a gull, and I got a lem, and I got a, a shale, another um, no, uh, no jaw, looks like, looks like no jaw. Can I have a gull? Do you want a gull? Alright, so we've got... We got most of the runes. Jar. Let me give you back this low rune, Boro. You want a, a, a gull, too? Here's a gull. I got a gull rune. And, uh... What else I got? Don't confuse me, Complexic. I'm trying to make a faith. 
They can be the faith, the faith, the faith, the faith, the faith. Alright, so it's Ohm, Jaw, Lamb, Eld. Nice, level 14 Fanaticism Aura, plus one to skills, ITD, bonus to attack rating, some nice fire damage, all resistances, damage, uh, animate the dead. I can't use my harmony anymore. Harmony. Melody. Oh, yeah, you can have it back. I was going to give you the gold rune, too, and you want the gold rune? The, uh, the low rune, is, I think, is on my paladin, isn't it? Pretty sure. Just double checking. It's on my paladin. Burb. Uh, there it is. Blink. On the floor for you, sir. All right. So I need to pick up these circlets real quick. I'm going to hit my freaking leave join cap like two seconds here. The the druid can wait. I don't need to. I'll just hold on to the, the druid's circlet for now. And the vampire gaze. Blackthorn's face. Wisp? What's Wisp? You talking about this Blackthorn's face? Blackthorn face is great. Oh, the Wisp Protector Ring. I can't remember what stats that has. The Wisp Protector Ring. Uh, 10% chance to cast level 16 lightning on striking. Lightning absorb 10 to 20%. 10 to 20% better chance of magic items. Level 7 spirit of the barb charges. Uh, level 5 heart of the wolverine charges. And level 2 oak sage charges. Huh. Impossible. Impossible. God, I need to freaking off mule these javelin and spear janks. Alright, well, this, this character is not going to be able to do anything unless I off mule this stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, I need to go grab my assassin again. That's right. You were going to use this, weren't you? Uh, honestly, I'm not sure. You, um... I don't have any burr runes. I do have a mal, but uh, I have a mal and an ist. So if you were able to get yourself some burrs, but um, good luck on that one. Hmm?
You playing the plague? You're playing the plague? Plague. So you need burr, burr. And you need a mal. I'm pretty sure I have a mal just sitting around. Here, hold on. I will share and share alike. Uh, unless it's not on this character, and then you're not getting it, because I don't want to. I'm, I'm too close to my join leave cap at the moment. Maybe later. Yeah, I don't have it here. Just remind me later. Um, it's not like you have two burrs laying around to make it right this second, so. She's not like you got a burrs. You ain't got no burrs. Da da burr. Da da burr, da da burr. Somebody dropped a tarn helm on the ground. Nobody wants their thirty percent tarn helm. I mean, don't don't throw a wrench in the plan. We could find one, and maybe you could trade for another one. Let's check out this fanaticism aura. I mean, he's already got the ist. Ist is a pretty rare one too, to be honest. More, more so because it's um, uh, very well sought after. Burr is just rare because it's rare. People use ists in a lot of stuff because it's got that magic find. Like a, like a good six-isted sword for a freaking barbarian to run around with and be all silly. It's a zombie head. A Grand Scepter and some hatchet hands. Really crappy Grand Scepter. Really crappy Grand Charm. Amp damage on striking hatchet hands. Dude, it'd be so nice to have amp damage. That'd really like freaking cap out my build, wouldn't it? Um. Uh, did you need those scalpers? You need those scalpers, right? Let me see if I can get you them scalpers. I thought you were making a throw barb. You silly goose. What you need? Well, what kind of gear do you need? Because, I mean, I've got barbarian stuff laying around. Oh, yeah. Let me go grab my barbary day, barbary day it in. My bird, my bird, do 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 do. All right, let's see what I got. I got a Pierre Tombeau Le Comte. If you want a uh, a really nice pole arm, um, where's my scalper? There's one of my scalpers, and uh, I got this uh, pretty nice. I actually got two, two barbarian circlets. Um, would you like a plus one to Barbarian with 20% faster run walk, 71 attack rating, 7% life, mana based on character level, 11 life, um, or two plus two Barbarian with 30% faster run walk and some cold damage and life. It's not, uh, they're not, neither one of them is terrible. Um, I also have, uh, what else do I got here? Look at him got some runes on him. What runes you got? Um, I also have some armor. What level are you? You're level... Oh, you're level freaking 86. Okay. Uh, well, you can use either one of these circlets. Uh, take a look at these circlets. See if you want if you want either one of them. And... Do, 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 do. I also have a Razor's Edge Tomahawk. I don't know if you're running axes or not. Um... I don't know. 
Doesn't look like you're a, a polearm barbarian, so that's probably not going to work for you. Uh, Gibber shreds. What's your uh, what's your mastery right now? Throwing or are you sword or like what's going on? Talk to my sword. All right. Well, let me see what I got. Uh, da, da, da. I've got a Blood Moon Elegant Blade. I don't know if that's any better than what you're wearing. Um, I have a. What's your What's your armor? Show me your armor. Nah, just. Uh, I might have something better than that. Maybe. It depends on if you got stuff to put in it. Um, I also, do you, uh, what do you got for rings? Do you need rings? Okay. Alright. Hell yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's my stupid little hat I made. I was thinking maybe you could use this if you wanted. Um, I mean, it's got three sockets. I don't know if you actually have the stuff to put in it, but uh, if you don't have anything to put in it, then it might not be worth your time. Um, who wanted the uh? Monarch shield. Somebody somebody wanted a monarch shield, and I have a monarch shield just waiting here. And it's clogging up my inventory space. So whoever wanted this monarch shield better speak up. Forever hold your peace, sir. Um let's see. I also have a Shaco and a peasant's crown. And some goblin toes, and this, which is kind of weird. And, uh, let's see. I thought this amulet was, like, halfway decent. Um, Letha, will the monarch shield's on the ground, Letha? I have to check some of my other characters. Does anybody need this uh, swirling crystal? <coughs> While I'm on this character. I'm dying over here. What's up, Silver Raku? Next. Next. Might as well pick up this jank, y'all. Won't it? That's fine. What's your, uh, you, you're using, um, Angelic Amulet and Angelic Ring together for the attack rating? Is that what you're running? Okay. Because I was thinking this one might not be terrible for you if you wanted it, but uh, it's Mana Steel, all resistances. Um, I don't know. But you're going to drop your attack rating if you do that, so I don't, I don't know. It's I hold on to these little things sometimes just for placeholders until you get something better. Um, let's see. Check my zealer. That's a good one to check. Let's check him. Let's get an idea of what's going on here. I got a cat's eye. 20% uh, increased attack rating. Not sure if that would be... Oh, there's the other scalper. I knew I had two scalpers. 
Um, I have some decent rings on here, but they're, it's not like they're like the most amazing. I'll drop them on the ground. You can take a look at them, see if you're interested or not. Some of them have all resistances on them. Some of them have like plus to min damage and max damage. Like they're not like super super amazing, but they're kind of they're kind of okay. Uh, I also have this uh, spirit forged linked mail. And then uh, this has cannot be frozen on it. It's not the greatest, but it's got cannot be frozen. Uh, for crotch. It's not really going to help you very much. You definitely don't need an Alma Negra. Did you want the other scalper so you can uh, dual wield scalpers, or are you past scalper already? You're not getting my gimmer shreds. Oh, you got a gimmer shred. Okay, cool. Well, that that uh, that explains that though. All right. I'm sure, I got something else here. I'm sure I got something. An F Gimmer Shred? Interesting. Uh, let me check NATO. He might have some stuff. Gotta make sure I'm not switching too quickly or I'll end up getting Realm down. Um, I got Spirit Shroud Ghost Armor. I've got... I'll check out on here. Yeah. Frostburn Gauntlets. Another gull rune. Oh, I got a bunch of rings. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Uh... You're going to have to go through these rings and amulets. Just pick out what you want, as far as I'm concerned. And I'll pick them all back up when I'm done. Because I'm not going to sit here and and sort through every single one of these amulets. That's a lot of work. That's too much work. You're asking for too much work, sir. And uh, what I got in here? Sky Strike. Oh, some more rings. So, I kept these for a reason. So, you know, don't make fun of my rings and my amulets. I kept them for a, <laughs> I kept them for a reason. Oh, that's my druid. Can't handle it. Alright, here we go. Alright, there you go. Just, uh, you can drop them back on the ground. You don't want them. I'll pick them back up. Also, there's this. If you want this. I don't know, it's not really for you, but it's plus one to all skills. Best place to farm for runes? Um... Get yourself a, a decent character that can run really fast and uh, go to hell and uh, click on all the corpses, click on all the chests, click on all the uh, the, the armor racks, the the, uh, the weapon racks, uh, the, the skeletons on the ground, um, all in the um, like Kurost area. So go to I think it's like Kurost Bazaar up to Travancall, like all those areas. Everything that you can click on, that's that's the best place to go to farm for runes. Um, as far as I understand it, Magic Find does not affect rune drops, so you don't have to worry about Magic Find. But it might be nice to have some just so you you get um, I don't know better items that come out of the chests, I suppose. Also, believe it or not, each one of the temples, like the ruined temples and the disused fanes and all that stuff, the ones that you have to go into, those all have actually really nice um, area level. So that might be a good place to go to for uh, clicking on stuff.
All right, all my rings. I don't know why he has a gull rune. Did you find anything you were looking for? Or anything helpful? <laughs> I'm going to move on to the next character now. Alright, and uh, I check the sorceress. Did I check my necromancer? I don't know if I checked my necromancer. Let's check Sims. What's you got, necro? A shako. Um. Aren't you using. God, what were you using? Were you using Natalia's? Because that's an Natalia's piece. Maybe the set bonus could be worthwhile. I, I can't remember what piece of armor you were wearing. For the light. No, you were wearing Naja's. Naja's. Starts with an N. Starts with both start with an N. That's all. I'm a big silly head. Uh, da -da -da -da. Would this be a better helmet for you than what you have on? I mean, it does have dual life leech, all resistances. Uh, life and mana, it's uh, it's not awful. I mean, Talrasha's Raja Crest is actually a pretty sweet uh, piece for a, for a melee character. Um, You're talking about that little one I dropped on the ground with plus one and plus three battle orders? <laughs> plus four battle orders, yay! Yeah, I found that with two sockets, and I was like, you know what, that would make a pretty good lore. Just throw lore in there, get the plus one to all skills, get the get the battle orders. That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah. Plus four is pretty good. That's a pretty sweet piece. Alright, let me check. Um, who haven't I not checked? I checked you. 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 My paladin. That's the only one I haven't checked is my paladin. All right, this is the last of the Mohicans. Uh, Bullcathos Wedding Band. Would that be of interest to you? Um, how about these gloves? Would you like some Laying of Hands Bramble Mitts? 350% extra damage to demons, 50% fire resistance, 20% IAS. They're not they're not awful gloves. They're really not. Um Venom grips. Yeah, those are probably better than Venom grips. trying to think if I had an extra pair of boots lying around somewhere, but I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Freaking Andariel's visage just sitting on my Merc. Plus 27 strength. Wow. And Ariel's Visage really is a very nice helmet, isn't it? Just a very sweet helmet. Huh. Freaking Merc is OP. I still don't have a plus two on this character. I 
Hemlo, sirs. Hum, I said humlo. 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 Double humlo. Triple humlo. A bone helm. A two socket bone helm. And that is a level 7 two socket bone helm with 10% fast. I'm so dumb. Like, it's a freaking level 7 helm, though, which is ridiculous. And I know it's got, like, garbage stats, but for level 7, that's actually kind of sweet. Especially with the two sockets in there. Could throw some good runes in there, like a tier tier, and give it to a low level character, like my druid. So that he could have faster mana recovery. See, now we're cooking with bacon grease. With bacon grease. I don't know if I got a tier tier to put in that thing there. What level is tier anyway? Do you know what level tier runes are? They're like level 11 or something. Or 12. Name to remember. You're going to hold on to it, sir. Ha! That would be a good thing to do. Greetings. Hello. Hey, tier tier! Sweet. Uh, eh, eh, eh. Brings it up to level 13. But that's, still, that's still pretty good. Alright, NATO. Come on, let's go, Nato. I know he's wearing something stupid right now. Yeah, it's not really that great. It's just some resistances. He really needs some tier runes. That's what he needs. He needs some more tier runes for the resistances. <laughs> I'm going to take extra one. You think I'm joking? Give me that tier rune. Think you don't swoop, swoop them all up? You don't, you don't need these tarots. <laughs> you know, just in case. Just in case what? I got jank on the ground and you want to stiff it? I'll be ready. Oh, man. Let's go into the drop junk game. There's a Diggler Dirk on the ground. A Diggler Dirk. Ooh, sucker. It's actually better than what I got on. It's like way better than what I got on, honestly. Taking it. Y'all can't tell me nothing. Ooh, this bone helm looks really cool. It's like they got that dark gray color. The dark gray bone helm. It looks freaking awesome. Looks freaking awesome. Ma'am. All right, let's see if um my girlfriend's uh, emote is finally ready. Are you here yet? Oh, she is. There she is. It's the Yo Mama emote. She always says Yo Mama's a hoe, so I figure, you know what? <laughs> See if I can bring up the uh, size of the fonts a little bit. What is it right now? 18? Let's try 24. Oh, that didn't bring up the size of the actual uh, emotes, though. Is there an emote size? Font size. Font. Hmm. 
chat appearance. Meh. Oh, yeah? Well, I have a lot of slots. It's not like I did that on purpose. There is, uh, so when I go into viewer rewards and I go to emotes, I have three slots for tier one. I've got one slot for tier two. I've got one slot for tier one. And then I've got um, more slots down here, apparently, for like people who cheer a lot. So there's a, there's a 1K bits cheering, a 5K bits cheering, and a 10K bits cheering. I can't, I can't edit them or anything. So I was like, I'll just go ahead and upload some emotes, just get them in there. That way, um, later on, maybe if I unlock some more slots, I can, I can uh, change the position, you know, it's like switch them around. I'm at uh, 34 subscribers out of 35. Apparently at 35, I get a new emote slot. I don't know, I don't know where that emote slot is, though. It could be a tier 2 slot. It could be a tier 3 slot. It could be another bits tier slot, for all I know. The one I'm really excited for is the animated. I want an animated one. It needs to go wee. Because I actually have an animated emo waiting that I paid for. Beneath. Wolf pack. Act two, beer me. This seems like a solid run. Looks like a bunch of real people. Don't I have the staff or something? I don't remember. I thought I had the staff. That I need to like... Oh, I just need to talk to Mashif. It'll be a good place to level up, though. Where are they at? Lost City. Yeah, Lost City. Let's go. Bruh. We got fire druid just for laughs. And then not to be able to kill most of the stuff in uh, in hell difficulty. Would there, like, would there legitimately be any way you could make a fire druid? Hmm. Armageddon requires some serious pointage in the elemental tree, I tell you what. Burn, baby, burn. Keep that brother down. Burn it down. It down. I'm gonna stab you. Stab, stab, stab. I got one of each Imperial Whiskey. Peop the ugliest. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm noticing like Fissure just is broken. Broken strong. Like just straight up broken. I just cast a Fissure. Everything dies. And I just laugh. I just do a heckin' laughter.
Claw Viper Temple Level 2. Y'all best back off me, suckers. Y'all don't know me like that. He mad at you because you didn't give him a chip. Dude, Fitcher is so silly too, cause like, it, it doesn't really even feel like you're doing anything, and then all of a sudden you just something dies, everything's just dying, and there's like, oh, okay, it's like I guess you're dying then. Yeah, look at me, I got I got a rare armor with tier tier, and I got a rare helmet with tier tier, so I'm running plus four plus four, so I got eight to mana after each kill. I know y'all's jealous about that. My fissure only costs uh, 15 mana, so as long as I get at least two kills, that's 16 mana. So I'm I'm looking looking sweet. Good day. Looking sweet. Are we in an arcane sanctuary now? Good. I'm gonna kill me some ghosties. Ghosty, ghosty, ghosty. It's gonna kill some ghosties. <laughs> Actually, I can't kill the ghosts when they're not over land. Stay over land, ghosties, so I can burn you. Don't shed off your corporeal life. I need you to stay. Here with me. <laughs> Man, it is so weird. I can't ever, like... This freaking uh, window with the, uh, like, the Twitch manager on it. Like, I swear I can't ever, like, scroll. Like, the top is always, like, cut off. And I have no clue how to fix it. I really don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Sit down, sirs. We got a level one in here. Let's go, level one. We ain't got time to wait. I'll stab at you. Stab at thee. Fissure is so hard to use here. Get him, Fazil. I'll stab. Don't think I won't stab. Let me go group up with the rest of the group so I don't, I'm not missing out on the XP. Six magic find and nine fire resist small charm. Wow, that's very very nice. I think seven percent is uh, is is cap on the magic find, and then to have the nine percent fire in there too, that's freaking awesome. Oh shoot. lordy. <laughs> we can always do some magic fine runs if you want uh complexic i got my uh 
my necromancer is like fully decked out with magic find gear we could go run chaos or something together and uh, just just more magic find chaos um, would be not a bad place to do magic finding river of flame also it's actually a pretty good place to magic find in hell river of flame is level 85 Chaos is level 85. I mean, I'm a necromancer. You can just hide behind my army for the most part. As long as you're just now damage. Ah, only an act two. This is a lot of crap on the ground right here. Respect and to throw. Okay, alright. Um, yeah, let's, let's do that. Let's do some magic fighting. That'll be fun. Uh, let me see here. Come to me uh, in uh, GGM 116, and uh, I need to drop some gear anyway. The throwing barbarian. Um, well, you're gonna have, you're gonna need enough strength and dex to be able to wield your weapons. So there's that. I know the um, the throwing items tend to have a rather large dex requirement. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get some dex. Um, I mean, enough strength to use your equipment, and then you're probably just gonna throw everything else into vitality. Um. What you really need is a razor tail. If you're going to be a throwing barb, do you have a razor tail? Okay. Well, we need to get you a razor tail. That's that's uh, that's priority number one. Uh, razor tail is going to increase your damage by two, three, sometimes even four times, depending on um, like whether you're fighting a crowd of monsters versus fighting just one. So let me go ahead and grab you a razor tail. I have I happen to have a razor tail. And uh, what else do you need? I mean, I know you're using Talrash's Roger Crest, and I think Talrash's might actually be better than this. But take a look at this and see if, see, like, just compare the two. I don't know if that's actually better than Talrash's Roger Crest. Like, Talrash's has more mana and more lifesteal. It also has all resistances. So it's kind of like a toss up. It's it's really what you personally need on your character, versus um, versus what you know. Uh, I just don't know. And Dario's visage might be better. Hmm. Uh, da -da 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 just looking um what boots do you have on would you like some uh some upgraded goblin toes those are uh those aren't normal goblin toes those are goblin toe battle boots um they can be upgraded one more time to the um the hell version but uh i didn't see the need i just wanted them to have more than like 14 defense or whatever they were I mean, the 30% crushing blow 
It's still going to apply to your throwing attacks. It'll just have a diminished effect. Um, what about your gauntlets? What gauntlets do you have on? You got the uh, laying of hands? Yeah, you're still using the laying of hands? Okay, so those are better than these anyway. Really? Uh, well, I mean... I yeah, they're kind of better than what you got on. Or your yours are better than these. I mean, there's my six percent magic find charm. Um, I was trying to grab my magic find stuff and bring it to my necromancer so he has it. He's been running. Um, he's been my necromancer for now. My magic find necromancer. I was trying to think whether I should give him the um, the other magic find stuff that I've got, but what happens if he takes off chains of honor? Yeah, let's let's switch this. I'm gonna switch this with um, a better piece. Hold on. And I need to get him an Umrune. Um. Oh yeah, that's a good idea too. I have an Istrun laying around that could go in the Shaco. You're you're uh, you're making all kinds of sense to me, sir. All right, I'll be right back. Check this out. I'm gonna throw that in the Shaco. I'm trying to get his magic for his magic find up as high as possible. Oh yeah, does he have one of these? I don't remember if he has one of these. He's gonna grab that. Alright, Gaheeds, Istrun, I can't use this yet. and he can't use it because he doesn't have enough strength. Come on. Um, if one of you guys, I don't know if you guys need this, this is a 25% magic fine ring. I got Nagels, so I'm, I'm just going to run the Nagels. But if you guys need that... Um, there you go. There's yours. You can have it. Hmm. Strength. I need somehow to get some strength. Tank rids. There we go. My poor little necromancer and I start taking off all this gear. He goes he goes down the poop chute. Where the hell are his regular boots? I know he had regular boots. I guess those were his regular boots. God, I need a couple more strength, and I just don't have the strength. It's terrible. And I seem to be missing my magic fine charms. Alright, let's go ist this um, Shaco. I don't think I've used any of my... Um, I used the one in normal, that's right. I remember. I remember using the one in normal. Did I ever uh, respec on this guy? Good day. I did in normal, that's for sure. 
see if I use my Hell Quest. Aha. There we go, it's to Chaco. And let's see if we can respec, put a couple more points into strength. All right. Just enough to use the Balrog skin. And I think that's pretty much it. We're good to go from this point. Um, I kind of really don't want to rely on this plus three strength charm, but uh, I guess I guess I'm going to. All right, we ready to go? Ready to ready to get ready to go. You know, revives might not be bad. I might not be bad. Let's do revives. That'll give me some extra firepower. Just just one point in revives. That's not gonna hurt. And, uh, unfortunately, we need one point in Decrepify. And then, uh, dink, dink, dink. Oh, okay, Complexic. All right. So let's add up our magic find. It's always a fun thing to do. Uh, calculator. Calculator. All right, here we go. We're adding up magic find. 100% from the dagger. 100 plus. 102 from the armor. 102. Plus, um, and then it also has an ist, which is twenty five percent. So twenty five percent. Then we also have the twenty five percent on the rhyme shield. We have the twenty three percent from the gloves. We have the thirty percent and the twenty seven percent from the two nagels. We've got the 30% from the belt. Uh, the tankard's hobnails give me nothing, but the amulet gives me 78. Um, the Harlequin Quest Shaco gives me 75% because uh, I have an ist in it. So 75. Uh, and then, of course, I also have the Gaheeds, which is giving me 35%. Um, then on top of that, I have several small charms here. So I've got a 6, a 6, a 7. So 6, 6, and 7. So let's add that. 6, 6, 7. 
So we're looking at a total of 569 magic find. Which isn't terrible. It's actually not bad at all. Um, it does gimp our damage a little bit. So we're looking at only uh, 1,000 damage bone spear. Which is going to make things a little bit difficult for us. But we do have an army. And hopefully we'll get some other people to join us. Let's get our clay golem out. We've got our badass merc with his uh, treachery. Ethereal treachery on. He's got his inside polearm. Got 23% on the pole arm too, so if the Merc kills something. If the Merc kills something, we get 592%. Not terrible. Let's uh, start off with something easy, shall we? So let's go ahead and leave here. Oops. Oh, man. Our little naked necromancer. Look at him down there in the corner just being naked. Just being all kinds of naked. Is best thing to add to a helm for MF and Istrude? Um, I don't know, it's just what I had laying around. I think Ist gives a little bit more than a, um, a Topaz, but not by much. I'm pretty sure a Topaz is 24%, and an Ist is, uh, 25. In fact, there's probably people out there who would probably mock me and say that I wasted an Ist rune when I could have used a, a P Topaz in the... So, uh, I don't know. Alright, so first things first, let's get our little army running. Alright, first thing we need is some skeletons. So we should have four skeletons, which isn't like the greatest. But we also get some revives too. Let's go ahead and make sure we put that up there. So. Eight. We get seven revives. Okay, be useful. Oh, let's see why, yeah. Plus three to weapon block. My skeletons! Busy looking at this Suaya. Uh, it's got nice enhanced damage at 170%. What's up, Exit? Hey, look at you with your little ginger game and emote. Your little chachala in your shoulder and everything. Uh, other than the, the plus three weapon block, it's not like the greatest thing in the world. I don't know. We'll hold on to it for now. Let us go, Mada. Rune sword. I was actually just coming out here to build my army. I didn't intend to actually, uh, Kill anything here, but mm, whatever. Found a freaking Suaya right off the bat. You know what? There's a uh, Rockinishi. Let's go kill him real quick. 
Uragan. He dropped two rare vultures. I think my magic find is working, guys. I think it might be working. A two socket vulture. Hmm. All right, so the next step is to apply our uh, character to the correct location. Let's go make sure our army is full. Okay, have a couple more revives, just because they're just fodder anyway. They have no actual purpose other than to be fodder. Our resistances are awful, which is absolutely fine. I don't really care. I just kind of sit in the back and just be silly anyway. It'd be nice if I had some more you know, people with me. Cough, cough. But I could share the loot. Share the load. Share the load. All right, let's go to the pit. Make sure we're clicking on chests. Oh, you got fanaticism. Look at you. All some skeleton archers. Letha. It's a barb shield. If that's any good. Defensive auras, meh. So Cathens is on the ground. We've got uh, just a rare field plate. It should be Cathens' mask, I believe. Some hatchet hands. So this is probably a good time for me to talk about that. So uh, I need to talk about what Magic Find is and how Magic Find works. So if you guys and gals have never um, really understood what Magic Find is and how it works, um, I got good news for you. I have a Magic Find video um, on Magic Find, and uh, I'm not just going to leave it there, though. I'm going to actually talk about it right now. But I would like to at least uh, link my Magic Find video for you guys and gals if you want to go further in depth um, than you know just simply what I'm going to explain now. All right, so. You can have all the magic find in the world that you want, but the the fact of the matter is is that magic find doesn't affect what drops. Magic find only affects the quality of the items that drop. 
not the items that drop. The quality of the items that drop. Alright, so you see that Etten Axe right there that dropped that is a magic item? So, if I have really awesome godlike magic find, I can force that Etna Axe to turn into a unique, which I believe would be the Rune Master. Um, but magic find won't turn that Etna Axe into something else like a Soge. It's, it's just not going to happen. So, wh what happens is, is when you kill a monster, the monster rolls to drop items. The uh, items that the monster drops are always going to be the same uh, because, you know, the, the roll is kind of like predetermined. Um, when the items drop on the ground, the items can then roll via your magic find um, to have a quality. So white, blue, um, you know, rare, which is yellow, set item, and of course, unique. Um, some items don't have a unique option, so there's they can't roll as a unique. Um, you know, like uh, you're probably not gonna ever find like a unique. Um, what was a Hamosis adamant curious? Who dropped that on the ground? Already identified and everything. I don't think that dropped from a monster. I already have a Homosis Adam. I'm curious. Curious. It's an extra. <laughs> so basically, um, you know, if you see an item drop that is something that you might have wanted, and it's not the quality that you wanted, then you got to miss. So, like, say you were trying to find a Tyrael's Might or something, right? And you see a white Sacred Armor drop on the ground. Well, Sacred Armor is the correct armor for a Tyrael's Might. So, it very well could have rolled as a Tyrael's Might. But, you know, if something else drops, like an Ancient Armor or an Ornate Plate, there's absolutely no way for those to roll as Tyrael's Might. They can only roll as what they are. Grand Charm. 115 to attack rating charm. Wow. I'm actually kind of impressed with that. That's a lot of attack rating. World Stone Keep is a good place to farm, as Deviant Brood pointed out. gotten one in my lifetime of playing but tons and tons of Templars. And, and that's another good point there. So a Templar um, the Templar plate and the Tyrael's Might are the same base. Which means that when you have a Sacred Armor drop there is a very good chance that even if you do get a unique Sacred Armor it might be the one that you don't want which is the, uh, the Templars. My character is a lot stronger than this normally, but with all this magic fight gear on, it's really weighing him down. At least he's got some decent magic fight gear. Now, you can also get uh, more items by having more people in the game. So, if you have eight players, eight players will actually give you more drops, but not better quality drops. Uh, monsters actually have a chance to roll what's called a no drop. It's a, it's I'm going to drop nothing. Um, when you have eight players in the game, or rather seven, because it, it ends at seven, um, you have a better chance to get... Uh, you have a better chance for the monster to not roll nothing. I think that's the best way for me to put it. So when a monster rolls nothing, that means that you kill the monster and the monster drops absolutely nothing. And if the monster drops nothing, then your magic find is not going to do anything because there's nothing to... Um, there's no base item to increase, if, I, if I'm making any sense. Wow, fire resist 24%. Or 26%. That's way better than my fire resist uh, 
Do you want a uh, fire resist 24% grand charm, Letha? Got a freaking Icker string. Here, you can have this. I don't want it. God, my resistances are like dirt awful. Deviant Brute said, You have so much RNG, so right roll for how many items and said monster drops another roll per item to see what category they fall into. So you hit armor, awesome, then another roll for which base armor, then a roll to see if it drops white, magic, rare, unique, set. And then if you get the unique sacred armor, it's still a long shot and it'll identify as materials. Yeah. And magic find really only, as, as, as I was talking about, affects the quality of the item and nothing else. There's no there's no other effect that magic find gives you. It's just it's just if an item drops, is it going to be a good item or is it going to be a, a crap item? Like you could kill Diablo and Diablo could drop seven sabers and all the sabers could roll a skewer of Krintis and the unique saber. And Screw of Krintis is not a very good saber, but you still will have gotten really good drops because getting, you know, six unique items is actually a pretty sweet roll. Hmm. All resistance is 15. It's got enhanced damage on it. 55% enhanced damage with plus three max damage. It has plus two attack rating on it. This is such a uh, attacker shield. Like yeah, it doesn't have plus the skills or anything on it, but it's got uh, it's got a huge amount of bonus damage. That's a, that's an odd one. Corpses to blow up. That's what I heard. No, um, Matt, your your item is actually determined on drop, Guild Bank. So when uh, you can actually test this yourself, it's super easy to test. You can literally take an item in single player, and what you do is is in single player take the item and clone it using something like um, a Hero Editor. And with Hero Editor, you know, check the item on multiple characters. So copy the item and then paste it onto multiple characters which has been done, and identify the item on all the characters, and it will still be the same item on all the characters. So it's it's a very easy thing to check. Um, your, you, your item is determined on drop. It doesn't matter whether you identify it now or 10 years from now. It'll still be the same item. Now, don't get me wrong, there's still a certain allure to, uh, you know, hitting that ID button. Um, there's actually a whole culture in Diablo revolving around not identifying items because you have no clue what they are. And uh, holding on to them and then trading them to people who will want to try and gamble to see, you know, if it's a good item. Ooh, a rare jewel. That's a good item. Now, this can be anything, though. This can be a good item. It can be a crappy item. This could be a god-tier GG jewel, or it could be the most dirt-awful jewel in the world that you wouldn't even give to your grandchildren. So we got a plus two max, 20 defense, four to strength, and one replenish life. So it's dirt-tier. That's a dirt-tier jewel. Gonna throw that right back on the ground. Uh-oh, I got to hydrate now. Pretty shit. I got some AW root beer. My girlfriend is entirely annoyed by the hydrate. <laughs> she said that is just silly. And Bear is just a digging away right next to my green screen. Shaking the whole green screen. Oh lord. You know I don't technically have to redeem these right now.
I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die from hydration. Y'all gonna overhydrate me. <laughs> Lord J. Jesus. Alright, let's go to ancient tunnels. <laughs> Ancient tunnels. And I don't have the waypoint. Do you have the waypoint, Letha, for Lost City? It's about to get real dark. Alright, let's go find uh, ancient tunnels. It ain't nothing but a doorway. Or a little, a little, little, little trap door on the floor. While we're here, we might could kill Beetle Burst. I think Beetle Burst is around here somewhere. So Beetle Burst is a uh, super unique. Um, one of the things that when you're doing magic find is to look for super uniques specifically and kill them. Because super uniques, as we were talking about earlier, that monsters have a chance to roll nothing. Super Uniques will always drop two items. It is a guaranteed thing that Super Uniques will always drop two. Um, it's just something that they programmed into the game. And there are tons of Super Uniques all over the place. You've probably seen them a thousand times. Um, and you may not, may or may not have known that they were even Super Uniques. Like um, Rakanishu is a Super Unique. Uh, Bane Ash in the, uh, in the Cathedral is a, uh, a Super Unique. Oh, there we go. We got some Bramble Mitts and a short Battle Bow. I Bramble Mitts could be pretty good. Let's check these. Eh, two resistances. Eh, meh. Not that great. Battle Bow is, uh, what? Uh, Storm Strike? That's pretty awful. It's level 25. It's like, it's just not a great bow. It's too high level. Like, it would be a decent bow for a lower level character, but as a higher level character, it's just it's kind of garbage. Alright, let's get some Skeletons running. Couple Skeletons. Couple Revives. See y'all making me burp. I got I got you drinking too much sodi pop. Becto Corbin. Becto Corbin. Five percent chance to cast amp. It's an ethereal too. It's a level twenty-five ethereal pole arm with five percent chance to cast amp. That is a uh, that's going on a merc. I don't care what nobody tells me. That's going on a merc. Five percent chance to cast amp. Ethereal level twenty-five. Socket that. Put a dang am rune in it. Move on with my life. Impossible. God bless it. I need more room. I'm not going to keep this attack rating charm. Got new shoes on my van today. Ordered $115 tires. They shipped the $120 tires, so the shop full sent it without upcharging me. Huh. Alright, where's the ancient tunnels? It's gotta be right here somewhere. If only I had map hack. Never knew what till recently. Oh, the mercs don't use up durability? 
Yeah, mercs are freaking OP with that. They get to use all the good ethereal items and we get we get nothing. Oh, another rare jewel. Nice. Oh, ooh. Oh, ooh, 14 to men. 14 to men is nice. I like 14 to men. I'll take a 14 to men. You got me. You got me screwed up. 14 to men is a lot of men. That could go in something. So uh, if you don't know about uh, men, men max damage, so men uh, it basically increases the base damage of your, your attacks. So you get four, plus 14 to men damage. It can do a whole lot. And if your min damage exceeds your max damage, your max damage starts to goes up, goes up too. So uh, if you stack min, you can actually get your min all the way up to your max, and then you can start pushing your max up with min damage as well, which is pretty handy. You went to go repair your Merc's armor? Like, what? You didn't need any repairs? Yeah, suck. Any no more corpses to raise? I'm trying to get some corpses. The walking. I really wish revives lasted longer than, than the crap duration that they've got. They just have such bad duration. Basically all the war cries. The whole war cry tree, essentially. Another jewel. Another jewel. An IAS jewel. I'll take an IAS jewel. 15% IAS. Yes, plus. So this might be a good place for you, Letha. Um, this is a, a zone that has very few cold immunes. It's mainly poison and magic damage immunes. Um, so it's going to be a little bit easier on you. As a, as a cold sorceress. And this is actually a really nice high level area. I mean, there, there might be an occasional cold immune. Um, usually the rares that spawn with cold enchantments. Um, but for the most part, yeah, there's going to be not a lot. Oh dang, a Balrog skin and a Balrog blade. We got some Balrogs out the wing wang here. And some runic talons. Let's check the runic talons. Could be plus plus skills. Two to Dragonflight, one to Mind Blast, two to Wake of Inferno. We got a Balrogy skin. Let's check the Balrogy skin. Hold, that's a lot of defense, but it's no good. I mean, it'll be worth 35k in town if you want to sell it. And then we got a Balrog Blade. Level 1 Enchant Charges. <laughs> that one's probably also worth 35k in town. The heck, the Runic Talons are worth 35k too with all those plus the skills. Dragon Ta Dragon Flight alone is probably, probably bumps it up to 35k. Some gambling money. What we get? Nothing good in the chest. Can't believe we found the chest so early. Bots have such an advantage when it comes to magic finding. They can just pick up everything. Because they got like 18 characters worth of storage space. I, I'm exaggerating, of course, but they do literally have multiple characters of storage space following them around. You know what I mean?
check that sewer, yeah? Terrible. So, um, immunities is an interesting topic, and uh, immunities has to do with the modifiers that the monsters get. So, um, you know, like lightning enchanted, fire enchanted, cold enchanted, uh, magic enchanted, um, spectral hit, um, stone skin, all of those apply additional resistances to the monsters. Um, so, in, uh, and it also stacks up to the um, the resistances that the monster has. So for a monster, let's say a monster here had no resistance to cold. Okay, so they have zero cold resistance. If you find a monster that is cold enchanted, magic enchanted, and spectral hit, they would still be cold and cold immune. Um, and that's just that's just how that works. So and it's because. Cold Enchanted apply gives them basically 75% resistance to cold. Um, Magic Enchanted gives them 40% to all resistances. So that they're going to have 75 plus 40. And then Spectral Hit gives them 20 to all resistances. So 75 plus 20 wouldn't equal immune, but it would equal, what, 95% immunity? And it also has to do with um, the order that they're in. So monsters, uh, with the exception of the ones inside the Uber Tristram, monsters cannot have more than two immunities. So um, let's say you've come across a monster that's lightning enchanted, fire enchanted, cold enchanted. Right? Lightning enchanted, fire enchanted, cold enchanted is not going to be immune to all elements, no matter what's going on. So... You're going to be stuck with an interesting situation of um, uh, which order they're in. So if the fire enchanted is first and the cold enchanted is first, then the fire and the cold immune will come first before the others. Um, however, if the monster is natively immune to a monster, um, like for instance, let's say you come across one of the Venom Lords, which is natively immune to poison. Po that poison will always come first before everything else. I literally have the can in my hand. I'm going to make that cost more money. How about that? 8,000 channel points. 8,000 million. At least my throat won't get dry. At least my throat won't be dry. You can't tell me nothing, Sookers. Y'all just jealous. Because you just <laughs> you're you're destroying all of my corpses, Letha. I have no corpses to explode. You, you corpse, I can't I can't do it. Can't do it, Captain. I kind of want to resurrect these guys so they can like shoot corpses at people. Go corpse oh I need to teleport. <laughs> Usually a little chanchula too. That's so cute. My little chanchula. What's up, blight froth? So see, this one in particular is a uh, demon, cursed. So he, that means he has the, uh, the the amp damage. He's cold enchanted. That's why he is cold immune. He's stone skin. That's why he's physical immune. So that's that explains his uh, his stats in a nutshell. Come over here and get blown up by this guy. Oh, you ate the corpse! I wanted him to eat the corpses, but I didn't want them to eat the corpses. You bastards! How dare you do what I wanted you to do? How dare you? What 
When I said do this, I didn't actually mean do it. Chonky chonkers. Explode. Colossus crossbow. Well, your blizzard is doing nice damage, Leaf, though. Do you have uh, static? Static field. Oh, should always put one point in the static field. That's like one of the best skills a uh, freaking sorceress has. Freaking 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 sorceress. It's uh, it's literally negative twenty five percent to the monsters um, HP. Like, all the monsters nearby that are currently within range. Like, you can even max out static, and it's just, like, broken as all get out. Yeah, like, one of the one of the easiest ways to bring down a monster's, like, a boss's health is you run up with static, you, you fast cast it right next to the monster, and then they just get murdered. It won't kill them. Static doesn't kill. But static will reduce the HP of a monster, like, tremendously. Yeah, it's in the um, the lightning tree um, on the left hand side. It looks like four little lightning bolts, like in a kind of like in a circle. Like, I don't know, like I guess I guess kind of a circle. I am overburdened. Yeah, definitely one that you want to always put one, just one point in. That's all you need. Um, if you want to build a static, that's a whole other story. And you can build static. Um, it's actually a pretty fun one to build if you want to actually build it, but it's not um, its not something that you do by accident. Why well, does this feel like the monster density here is just so low? Very low monster density. And you're blowing up all my corpses. I need corpses. You're a non-friendly necromancer friend. You're non-friendly. Corpses are my life. What smells like dog fart up in here? I'll tell you. They, they don't tell you when you get a dog. It's just like dog farts for days. That's all that's going on. Every single day, dogs are just farting up a storm. Let's just fart up here. Let's fart over there. Let's, let's do a little heckin' fart. Let's do the biggest fart we got. Oh, look. Farts. Dog farts. And they're silent too, because they ain't got butt cheeks. If you ain't got no butt cheeks, the butt, the, you know, how the, how the farts gonna make noise when they're coming out? They don't. And that's the that's just the fact of life. So no butt cheeks, and they come out, and they just need just silent but deadly all the time. Always silent, deadly. No warning signal. No no warning. You're not allowed to have warnings. line up that bone spear. Man, my bone spear is so slow without my freaking uh, faster cast gear on. It is just so very slow. So very slow.
Oh, hello, Seath Weaver. Let me, yeah, let me mark kill him. Amp it up, 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 amp it up, 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 it's on fire! There's more revives going in here. Yeah, yeah, a little revive. A fun uh, sorceress to make. I think I think making a, a static sorceress would be pretty cool. Be right back, Leva. Hail to you, champion. Twenty-three to life. What specifically would you do, though? Um, I mean, I, I get that you would max out static. Obviously, that'd be number one. Um, but when you come across a lightning immune monster, wouldn't you have trouble? Plus one in combat skills with all resistances nine. <laughs> That's a very silly shield. I mean, I was even thinking, and, th and this is just me... What about, um, Frost Nova? So instead of, instead of, uh, Lightning Nova, I mean, well, actually, because you, you're good, you need something to finish them off with, and it doesn't matter what you're finishing them off with, they just need to be finished. And if they're immune to, uh, Lightning, then you're kind of screwed, aren't you? I'd have to think it out a little bit. It'd need, need a little bit of thought. All these cold immune bosses. So see this one in particular? He had gut tongue the unclean. He's stone skin, lightning enchanted. Um, but he's not cold enchanted. But see these particular monsters are always cold immune. So he's cold immune. Then he's lightning immune. Um, and he's not physically immune because he doesn't have enough physical immunity, but he's still almost immune to physical damage. So he's, like, pretty ridiculously immune to things. I don't think Telekinesis ever gets enough damage to be viable. It's um, Mind Blast on the Assassin is actually high enough damage to be viable like that, but uh, not Telekinesis. Honestly, I think if you were to go Static Sorceress, I feel like you'd also be almost obliged to go Energy Shield. Because at that point you're going to be in the thick of it. Because you got to think, as a as a static field sorceress, you're going to be like in the middle of things a lot. And if you're going to go with Nova, you're going to be in the middle of things a lot. So you might want that extra damage, that extra of um, you know, that extra defense to keep you alive. My resistances are so bad.
Okay, so Milabregas, a pair of worm hide boots that could be okay. Let's check these. They're pretty crappy. The war spear is not going to be great. The pike is not going to be great. Um, Milabregas is not really the greatest armor. It's worth 35k, but it's not really the greatest armor in the world. Might as well take it to town and sell it. I don't really know what they were thinking with Milabregas set. It's really not a good set. It's just really not. It's not the greatest. It's one of those really weird sets. Let's go back down to River Flame. Let's kill, uh, let's kill some of this stuff down here too. Get some of these pit lords. God, my uh, damage is so poor compared to when I am fully geared. Merc. Did you die, Merc? My Merc died? No. No. Come back here, Merc. I was talking to my girlfriend. What's up, Complexy? We got a little group. Mm -mm -mm. We got some little group. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? You guys are killing stuff. I'll just focus on... Uh on curses and, uh, and explosions. How about that? Yay! Gotta get a little army. Small charm. Level 85 area. Could be anything. Ooh, not bad for a throwing barbarian. You want this 3 to max 18 attack rating? Small charm? 3 to max is... That's, that's, not, that's not bad for a little tiny small charm. Did they up the monster difficulty? I can remember playing 8-man sea runs just dropping a frozen orb right in front of me and everything dying. Um, I mean, they upped the um, hit points and the monster difficulty when they went to the, uh, with the expansion. I remember that. Um, when, they, when they added synergies, they upped the difficulty as well. So that the moment that synergies were added into the game, things got more difficult. Um... The reason is, is because synergies allowed you to bring your damage up really, really high. And so to compensate for that, they brought up the health of all the monsters, um, you know, to make it a little more acceptable, I guess would be the term. No longer physical immune. Uh, Ogre Maul. So you see how we've been getting a lot of rares? So we haven't getting a huge number of uniques, but we've getting a lot of rares. That's the magic find work. Those those uh, those rares are, is the magic find working. We're getting more and more rares. We're getting tons of blues. You notice how you're not seeing very many white items? So the, the lack of white items is a clear indication that the magic find is working. Because that's exactly what you get rid of when you build your magic find up, is white, ethereal, and socketed items. Those are the first things to, to really disappear. 
Um, you'll get them less and less and less the higher your magic find goes. Um, there was a great Hallberg, though. That might be good for a, um, a treachery if somebody wants to make it. What's the defense on that? Ah, it's kind of low. 421 is kind of low. Let's keep going. I just accidentally, like, made the chat, like, way bigger. I didn't mean to do that. Let's get all our little minions and... Alright, let's hope for something good. Keep clicking on chests. We'll go to um, Karast next. And we'll just we'll run chests and, and, and all the little loots and stuff down there. And we'll see what we can get. Maybe we'll grab some runes. Mummified trophy. Plus one necro with uh, nothing else on it. Just plus one necro. Light belts. Rare items can be upgraded, by the way. So if you find, uh, like, a really sweet light belt, you can upgrade it to the um, the higher difficulty versions. So, you know, don't uh, don't discount, like, a, a low-level item just because it's a low-level item. They can be upgraded. I mean, if you find, like, a god-tier rare item, might be worth the, the time to upgrade it. He's got conviction. What is he? I can't read his I can't read his stats. Spectral hit, or enchanted, stone skin, extra fast. Ooh, a war fist. I do have an assassin, you know. Does anybody need the um the quest? I've already done mine. If already did it. Oh. Oh, my bad. My bad. Sorry, the goose. Where else we can go? I think there's another area we didn't hit over here yet. Mummified Triffle. Long sir. That's an amulet. Let's check the amulet. Plus three to summoning skills, necromancer only. Huh. A plus three summoning. What's this worm hide? 
437. Golem Lord. That sounds really cool. Another Balrog Blade. Check that out. Could be something good. Who knows? And it's not. <laughs> he thought he would check out the Balrog Blade because he had imagined that it might have been something good. Spoiler. It was not. Flawless diamonds. The good thing is, is since runes are not affected by magic find, having magic find doesn't hurt your chances of getting them. So, just build magic, magic find anyway. Corpses. Hiss at you. All right, I think that's it for this place. Let's go to uh, let's go to Act Three. Let's hit up some of these um, these chests and whatnot. See if we can find some runes. So uh, we're going to go to Travancall. We're going to kill Travancall first. We'll work our ways backwards. When is ladder reset for this ladder? This ladder only just started a couple weeks ago. It's not. Uh, it hasn't been that long. No, this is the last ladder before Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, I even did a whole series called Last Ladder Before Diablo 2 Resurrected. <laughs> the whole series. Oh, an amulet. Shark tooth armor. Bone weave, that's worth 35k. Let's check out the shark tooth armor. And uh is this a Tal's amulet? No, oh, Vidalas. Two resistances, decent defense for level 25. Oh, holy crap, that's actually Pretty sweet for a level 25 character. 61% enhanced defense, 416 defense, 44 to life, 23 cold resist, 7 fire resist. That's a total 25 freaking armor. Broken is all get out. Two socket mechanics, worm hide of spikes. Bone weave, let's check out this bone weave. 10% faster hit recovery, that's... The Bone Weave and the Worm Hide are both worth 35k if you want to sell those. Where's some any gloves in here? No gloves. No gloves. Oh, there's a diamond bow. Hmm. 
Hmm. Not very good. And uh, what else here? Fanged helm with a squid. Let's take this bone weave back. Let's go sell it, get some money. Alright, we're going to work our way backwards through this area. And, uh, and we're going to basically just keep picking up stuff until we... Uh, like clicking on bodies, clicking on chests, uh, like racks, like anything that, that uh, that's going to drop us from some loot. And apparently I lost my merc, so it's a good re good thing I sold that bone weave. Oh no, Letha is gone. Letha, come back, Letha. What can I do for you? Fifty thousand gold. Gotta had to head to the girls later. All right, have fun with the girls. Look, now we can get healed. We got hierophants now. Look at us, we're fancy. I'm gonna keep an empty cup. I'm gonna keep an empty cup. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start keeping an empty cup. And ask me that. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna need to hear the gulp, sir. <laughs> I'm gonna need to hear the gulp. It's so dry. Ah, uh, baskets. The magic finding of kings. Kick all the baskets. Open all the weapon racks. Ooh, a grand scepter. 40% increased attack speed with plus 2 to zeal, 17 to strength, 5 to max damage, 72% enhanced. Ooh, and plus 1 to redemption. Due to 40% IAS Grand Scepter with plus 2 to zeal. I wonder what that would be if you upgraded it to uh, to the like you know th elite version. But it's only level 66. I'm going to go drop this in town real quick. It's a maybe hold on to. I'd have to invest some serious runes in that to make it worthwhile. Superior battle sword. All right, there should be one right across the way from this one. There's usually, there's almost always two here. This is like a guaranteed two, two, two deal. Yeah, Nightbot, you spam them links. Oh, what do you got over there? Oh, Rot Fist the Cold. Immune to everything. Skull pile, can't forget. Ooh, a Colossus Vulge. Check that jank for cruel modifier. Impossible. It could have a cruel modifier on it. Maybe with some lifesteal. And that could be ridiculous. 
And it does not. It's a knight's. That's okay. Skeleton! So uh, gloves are also a good thing to check because gloves can spawn with plus two uh, skills as well as 40% uh, increased attack speed. So if you happen to come across a 40% increased attack speed pair of gloves with plus two skills on them, doesn't matter what kind of gloves they are, they have to be blue for them to get the 40% IAS. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a whole thing that people like to look for. So any, any blue gloves of any kind whatsoever, always check them. See if you got a 40% and a, and a plus to skills on them. You know, like 40% um, IAS with like plus two javelin or 40% IAS with like plus two martial arts or, or, you know, those sort of things. Of course, you have to be in the right level, so you have to be in the right area, obviously. So if you're in hell and you're in like a really nice uh, A level area in hell, you know, check the gloves. God, 40 and plus two jabs would be so sexy. Exactly, Deviant Brute. Um, rare ones cannot spawn with 40, but they can spawn with 20. Um, so you can actually find a really nice pair of rare gloves that have t plus two and 20% uh, and IAS, which isn't awful. If you find a really nice pair of gloves, you know, you could find like... 20% IAS, um, plus two to skills with like 7% life steal, you know, like some strength, some dex, you know, they can they can actually be really useful. So you're, you know, you're obviously going to check the gloves, but definitely check the blue gloves as well. The grand charm. Maybe we get something good. Maybe we don't get something good. A pestilent. Oh my goodness. That's freaking awesome. I'm gonna give that to my my freaking uh my my uh Amazon. Yes, 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 excellent. Unless you want it. That would actually be good for you too, man. Hunter poison damage on your uh, on your throwing attacks? You sure you don't wanna wanna grab that? I mean, granted, I know there's 100 poison damage small charms, but still it's got 7% faster run walk on it, too. I mean, it's going to make you run real fast. Oh, they're immune to magic. Okay, hold on. I wasn't even paying attention. That's another thing to take into consideration when you are um, dealing with like areas that you want to go magic find in. You know, you wouldn't go to an area where all the monsters are magic immune if you are a Hammerton, or you wouldn't go to an area where all the monsters are cold immune if you're a cold sorceress. You know, you gotta you gotta take that into account as you uh, you figure out where you're going. By the way, Corpse Explosion is 50% fire and 50% um, physical damage. So if you're in an area where all the monsters are physical and <laughs> fire immune, then you're going to be screwed. Keep blowing up all my corpses. A superior Aachen Rondache. Is that the hell version? The dog farts are thick. Oh, the thick dog farts. They're so thick. Are you sure you don't got to go poop? 5% ED. Ah, well, that's not good then. Hollow logs. Don't forget to check the hollow logs and the skeletons. These guys just run away from me, and I don't like it. All you guys do is run. What am I supposed to do when you guys just run away? 
Make sure you click on all the stashes, the skeletons. Ooh, a jewel. 11 to max damage jewel. Not the greatest. I mean, it'd be good for, uh, for you know, crafting, but I don't have the inventory space. An Ethrun. Another stash. Lots of gold. Bear having a nightmare on the couch. Probably about that fart that he smells. Bear's over here like, man, it stinks. Hair light gauntlets. Check them janks. Garbage. Lots of potions, lots of gold, lots of, uh, of not what we're looking for. That's okay. Um, believe it or not, another good area is sewers level 2, which it's hard to find. Um, so, you know, if you happen to be like a super teleporter and you can find it in like two seconds, there is a ton of freaking chests and just a whole bunch of crap and sewers level 2. And, uh, and it's a level 85 area too. Um, so all the chests have a chance to drop like every item in the game. Which is pretty sweet. Um, but like I said, it's not easy to find. So it's it's one of those situations where you don't really go there unless you know you can you can very you know basically make it so that the time sink in going to sewers level two is worth it. I mean, granted, you do have a lot of monsters to kill along the way if you want to walk it. Oh, hello, uh, undead sticky and dolls. Probably the one character that can actually survive an undead sticky and doll. You know why? Because it's physical damage. Their explosion is physical damage. And uh, my bone, my bone uh, armor—the only thing that it protects me from—is physical damage. Oh, he's a freaking champion, Haradrim. And he's completely immune to magic, of course. Get in there, Merc. I'm counting on you. Thankfully, my, my Merc can hold his own. He's, he's doing pretty good. Still can't take off his stupid, uh, three-gemmed freaking... Stupid helmet with plus the strength on it for no other reason because he can't wear stupid, stupid armor. I mean, stupid weapon. I'm gonna keep saying the word stupid. Let's see if we can find this. Sometimes if you if you hug the wall, um, you can find it pretty quickly. You just gotta not go inward. Because it tends to be outward along the wall anyway. And then it's just a matter of clicking on all the chests. Basket, 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 basket. I'm gonna laugh if a Zodrun drops. I'll be like, be Lord. Watch out, get out of there, Complexic. Get out of there. You're gonna die. Freaking undead stingy and dolls. Is 
the gothic staff. What's that? Salamander? Plus one, um, what? Martial arts. 45% enhanced defense with magic find. I actually have a pair of plus two martial arts gloves right now with 3% lifesteal. So I think I'll hold off on those. What is blocking the path right there? Can't be my golem. I can't walk through this freaking thing. Okay, there we go. Dead body. Oh yeah, and when you're using a, uh, a magic find set and you're a character like a necromancer who has skills like that summon monsters, do yourself a favor and um, actually swap to summon your minions. It makes them stronger. So like, for instance, with your golem, swap to your other set. Summon your golem, and then swap back. Or, like, swap to your other set, use your bone armor, and then swap back. That way you get your plus to skills in there, and you're actually getting some damage. Plus three to sort, plus three energy sealed, plus three teleport, plus three telekinesis with ITD. Well, freaking A. You gonna make a sorceress? That's, uh, that's great for an energy sealed sork. That's gonna get you, uh, plus six energy shield. That's actually pretty sweet. I was actually looking at that uh, the other day. I got no um, identify scrolls to identify this Wiganard. I cannot be a magic finding without identify scrolls. I'm sorry. It's so important. It's so important that my little scrolls are going to be Alright, let me drop this uh, war spear in town. If anybody needs that war spear, you guys are more than welcome to it. I already have my uh, sorceress all fully decked out, so I'm not like super worried about that. Yeah, like all the way around to get there. What the hell? My freaking those little like bats just like flew around the damn corner. So it's not over here. Basket, basket, basket. Mm, basket, 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 basket. Superior champion sword with three sockets. Rats. Add to be. Oh, there it is right there. Alright, let's kill uh, what's his face. This is a super unique too. Um, his name is like uh, Shockwing or something stupid like that. I can't remember. Ice Ice Hawk Riftwing. That's his name. A War Scepter. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Uh, it's terrible. It's terrible. It's terrible. Alright, let's click on chests. Chesty, 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 chesty. 
Pellet bow. Chesty. Stash. Chesty. 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 There's like a whole bunch of chests in here. And a super chest, of course. With Kaleem's heart in it. A poison iron. A couple monsters in here. It's mainly just a whole bunch of chests. And that was underwhelming. We got one rare out of all those chests. And that's not even a good rare. Did I miss any corpses or anything? Yeah, Magic Find is a gamble after all. A gambly gamble. Alright, let's uh let's pop out of here and let's go back to uh where were we at? Garas Bazaar, I think, is where we were. Even if we're not, that's that's where we're going. Let's go. Forps. Stash. Another stash. Another chest. Another lock chest. Gotta make sure we click on it. Corpses! Oh, another stash. I missed that one. Corpse. Corpse. A towel rune. Don't exactly need a towel rune, but I'll be right. A large charm. Crappy. Let me in! Who already clicked on that stash? Oh, here's another temple. Let's check this out. I'm pretty sure this is the one with Lama Sem's tome in it. But I've already done this quest on this character, so... How's your uh, throwing barb doing? Is he doing all right? You got enough loots? Seem to be doing okay on damage. That's what it looks like to me. Get some of these girlies running. Yeah, girlies. That's some spiders. I like spiders. Kind of thinking about getting my Merc a Bramble. <laughs> Just so that he can be extra ridiculous. So he has like two auras. I think it'd be kind of silly. Cryptic sword. I got enough room to pick up ain't nothing. 
A one socket cryptid sword. Ooh. I'm waiting for a GG item to drop. That's what I'm waiting for. GG item go! You gotta be waiting for a long time, boy. GG items just don't drop every day. Hollow log. Corpse. Another corpse. Another corpse. Oh, I want some of these as revives. Yeah, give me some of these revives. What's this? The disused fane? Stash! Chest! Amp damage! Dimensional blade. A well, one socket dimensional blade. Well, we are in the money now. Immune to magic, immune to fire. Bane Bender the Howler. Wow, he's a little, uh, he's a little tough. It's a Colossus Vulge. Oh, you grabbed the classic vault? I was going to check and see if it had cruel enchantment on it. Well, Juve. You know, TP. Gets in the world. Yes. Look, you fight. Thank you, Da. That's exactly what you should have done in the first place. I hate how these guys just run away. Like, they just. They never want to fight. Ash Wound the Slayer. Cold Enchanted Magic Resistance, extra strong, and he just runs. Just constant runs. Can't even get to him. How did he even squeak through there? 
little squeaky squeaker. dying. Where's the freaking uh, unique guy? Did he just keep running and he just never stopped? He's so freaking fast. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh, a small charm. Let's see. Two to three cold damage. Awful. Unless you need a cold damage charm. It's always nice to have a cold damage charm of some type. Maiden Javelin of... Not very good. Hmm. Mm. Javs are another thing you want to watch out for because javelins can spawn with like some pretty crazy stuff. Where's my work at? Merc, get over here and do your duty. Your whole job in life is to be a good merc, and you're not being a good merc today. There you go, merc. Thank you. Got a freaking F inside pole arm. But no. Ooh, you want to go hump rocks? There's a rock. I'm going to hump this rock. You can't tell me what to do. I'm humping rocks. It's a fun rock. You're just jealous because you don't go to rock. That's all it is. I'd share my rock, but then I wouldn't have one. So obviously you're going to have to get your own rock. Oh, my hello, Hellswarm. <laughs> Alright, Deviant Brute. It's always fun having you around, man. We are getting closer and closer to Diablo 2 Beta. It's the 23rd. Only a couple more days. I mean, until they tell me, I'm just going to assume that it's the first, obviously. August 1st, obviously. They said August, so obviously they meant August 1st. Alright, let's not split hairs. I can't carry anymore. Murdering my golem. I swear part of me wants to just take this necromancer and convert him to summon. I love summon necromancers. They're so fun. Like I built a bone necromancer because I had already built a summon necromancer recently. I wasn't trying. You know, specifically... To build a summon necromancer, but summon necromancers are a lot more fun than bow necromancers, in my opinion. Old Juvie, short battle bow. I think we're uh, out of places to search around here. 
Um, another good place to search, even though it's a little bit of a difficult one to farm, is Worldstone Keep. Let's go do that. Let's go to Worldstone Keep. So believe it or not, Worldstone Keep is a really nice high level area and has a chance to drop a lot of really good items. Um, just in general. In fact, hold on, let me, um, can I, do I have any room to store things away? I do not. Hmm. I think I'm going to end up dropping this. I'm going to keep the war spear. It's actually kind of a cool little spear. Um, but it's not a spear, obviously. <laughs> People have, uh, post the funniest things on my YouTube videos. I don't, I don't even know sometimes. It's very silly. All right. I think I'm going to drop my magic find by just a bit so that I can uh, survive in here. This area is a little bit difficult. I kind of wish I had an Umrune laying around. I don't have one on this character. Boo. Just ever so slightly bring up my skills at the very least. So it'll help out a little bit. In the, oh, look, magic immunes. Yay, magic immunes. And freaking glooms. See what I mean by this being a hard place to farm? That's okay, because I'm going to have clones. I hope you guys know what you've done. Woo. Careful, there's gloves. Along with magic immunes. Okay. Well, sweet. I'm going to throw that in my shield right now. That'll help me with uh, resistances like crazy. All resistances 62. Yeah, that bumps me up quite a bit. Put it in my homunculus. Oh, Lord. They just killed my Merc. That's a lot of damage. Good thing I can just sit in the back and just be a douche. This might not be the best place to farm with all these black souls. Although I'm surprised the black souls aren't killing them for us. Got so many black souls on my team now. Some Saigon's Greaves up there. I can't do any damage to these guys. Had to be this combination of monsters too.
A demon heart. Ooh. What is it? What is it? Any good? What's the uh, got good plus to skills on it, maybe? Plus five meteor. For a fire sorceress, for sure, then. Let me go grab my Merc back real quick. Um, don't die. I'll be right back. I know all my minions are going to leave as soon as I teleport away. But I really want my Meditation Aura. My um, He's running Prayer, too. And the reason why he's running Prayer is because Prayer beefs up Meditation Aura. So I'll just, he's, he's, he's double running. He's double running, basically. Two... Superior Hawk Hell. No, I can't do anything with that guy. Stupid. Crap, look at that little group. A grim scythe. What's up, little grim scythe? It's terrible. Some of these potions. Having an army of my own burning souls seems kind of overpowered. I'm just gonna say. Just a tad. Scissors Qatar. Oh yeah, you gotta watch out for that. Blackthorn's face is amazing in here. If you have a Blackthorn's face, it might be a good thing to put on just while we're in here. I'm trying to specifically target the Black Souls because I know they're a little bit of a pain in the butt. They're much easier to kill with my um, my uh, Bone Spirit than anything else, so I just I'm just marking their territory. They'll kill me too, though, if I'm not careful.
It'd be cool if something dropped like uh like really rare. Like a high like a like a wind force. Wind force drops here, I believe. For very specific monsters though. It's not it's not all the monsters, it's very specific ones. Then put my wind force on my Merc. Just for laughs. Merc with a wind force. It's too bad that while fighting Black Souls, having Black Souls as my revives doesn't really help me very much. Because Black Souls are immune to lightning. So my Black Souls can neither die too. <laughs> Nor be hurt by each other. Aw, oh, Hurlbrat. That could have been the uh, unique Hurlbrat, and we didn't get it. So it just it rolled low. Unique Hurlbrat is a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good throwing weapon there. We did not get the correct roll. Very sad indeed. Myrmidon Greaves, those could have rolled Shadow Dancers, but did not. Also very sad. Very sad indeed, very sad. Eyes and hearts. If I remember correctly, one of the monsters that has like one of the highest loot tables is, um, you know those little like, uh, I, I, can't, I can't remember what they're called. They're like these little pus spitter guys and they like infect other monsters so that when the monster dies, they spawn um, one of the little minions. Those guys have like a, a really high loot table. Um, and I don't really know why. Come on, little girl. I need something good to eat. Come on, little girl. Light belts. Good lord, so many little unique like sets of monsters in here. Atticus. Oh. That's the, uh, yeah, that's the, the hell version of the, uh, Divine Scepter. Don't see those very often. We might as well kill Bale, too, since we're running a Magic Find run. We're just uh, we're gonna clear this area though, cause we're gonna we're trying to get booze. Good item. It's the GG beaks. Worldstone keep go. Hopefully something really good drops, like uh, some barbarian items. I know I know we need some bar barbarian gear for you, Complexic. 
And, uh, I mean, who knows, uh, a unique Hurlbrat would be nice. Doesn't that one, um, have regen on it? Like, a re restore durability? Is that Hurlbrat supposed to be F or something? Or am I thinking of the wrong one? Bracers. The winged axe. Okay. Well, here's the way down. Let's go. Might as well go kill Bale real quick. We can clear the throne, too. The throne has some pretty good uh, drops in it, too. Possibilities. Ooh. Oh, you little freaking burning souls. I came around the corner. Just walked around the corner. Of course. You little, you little punks. All right, hold on. Let me go grab my Merc. Grab my body. Try not to die. Try not to die challenge. Do, do. Let's go for my higher gear set, since we've got uh, frickin' Black Souls here. It's a loss of 125 magic pine, but it'll be alright. It'll it'll work itself out. Still, I'm still over 400, even without the, the other set, so I'll be fine. Makes a little bit more sense for killing these uh, these black souls or burning souls or whatever they are in here. Oh Lord Jesus! If only it didn't like go through all my minions. It's one of the few monsters that can literally attack through every single minion in the game. They can literally have an army 18 miles wide and they can just they can just plow right through. He did? Uh, who who caught one? Oh true. <laughs> Ball boy. <laughs> He's, his name keeps devolving. I don't know what to talk about that cat. That cat pees in the sink strainer. Well, 
I ain't never seen a cat pee in whatever he, he he'll either be just like pee in a thimble. If that's what he wants to do. Just a thim, just a thimble. Why is it always got to turn into a joke against me? We're talking about the cat. Heck, it don't pee in thimbles. Oh yeah, having a tea gods would definitely help. That's for sure. Like I said, this isn't an easy place to magic find. Don't don't get me wrong. It's definitely a difficult place. I think as a, a summon necromancer, I have a little bit of an advantage here because I don't have to be up in the in the thick of it like you do. I mean, you are a throwing barbarian, so I guess you don't necessarily need to be up in the thick of it. You can kind of hang back a little bit. But as you can see, there's a lot less chests, there's a lot less stashes, there's a lot less little things to pick up here. It's not quite as amazing in that regard. Oh, there was a flying axe right there. That could have been a, that could have been a unique, but it wasn't. There's a shako. That could have been a unique, but it wasn't. I wonder if it's just because I'm not getting the killing blows or if, um, I really don't know. It's all, there's a whole lot going on with Magic Find. I mean, I got so many little minions all over the place hitting everything. I probably am getting the killing blows. Especially when I corpse explode. Another dog fart. Man. Either that or it's the same one that's been lingering for a half an hour. <coughs> Lord Jesus in heaven, save me. Now he didn't even drop an item. Oh, he dropped a great ball. That's what I'll say. He didn't even drop an item. Oh man, I don't suck up. <laughs> Nothing good. I'll take them scrolls of identify there. Dallas Fetlock. Low level run boots. That's pretty much all they are. If you have a Dallas amulet or something to go with it, it's not a bad piece for a low level character. I'm going to use these as a. Uh, as fodder for the next group. Make sure we got the uh, the defenses. There we go. We should have more than enough fodder. Can't revive these guys if I remember correctly, so might as well not even bother.
All right, Bale, you better give us some good loot. Switching to full magic find for this. I'm going to decrepify spam him so he can't uh, teleport around on us. And I need to get over here so my army teleports. My damage is so low, I can hardly do anything. My damage is so low, it's so terrible, you see. That's all I get for letting my, uh, you know what, let's switch to AM. Do more damage that way anyway. They'll be able to teleport, but at least we'll be doing twice as much damage. If my minions would attack something other than his tendrils. No corpse explosion here. You know what? Let's switch to um, Bone Spirit just for laughs. Bale has pretty good drop table, too. He's just not a good monster to farm for loot. He really isn't. Polax. Hmm. Rondache. Flanged mace. An ethereal Rondache. Pretty bad. We got we got pretty be decent drops. I mean, they just didn't get what we wanted. We got what three rares and a um, and a unique. Three rares and a unique is actually pretty good for magic fine standards. Flanged mace. All pretty terrible. I can't remember what the pole axe is. What is that? The battle branch. Level 25, Merc weapon. 30% IAS, 7% lifesteal. Great for a low level Merc. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, it wouldn't be a magic fine run if we didn't go kill uh, Eldritch, Shank, Endel. <laughs> what did you say? Sorry. I didn't say nothing. Don't say nothing to me. I ain't say nothing to you, my beautiful lady. Why don't you come over here and give me kisses? <laughs> You're so dumb. Shank. Hell spawn skull. Let's check that out. Wow, it's got all res and three skills on it. It's not really that great, but it's. Surprised to see all res 27 on there. Alright. 
Alright, Complexic. Sorry we didn't find nothing amazing. But you know, that's how it goes. Sometimes you find something amazing, and sometimes you don't. And sometimes you feel like it, uh, and sometimes you don't. I don't think I've done Pendle on this one, so let's go, uh... Did I even do Anya on this one? Okay, yeah, I did Anya. Let's go kill Pendle real quick, too. Fun fact! You can explode their corpses before they wake up. <laughs> it's freaking hilarious to do. And stay dead. Let's see you get back up now that I exploded your corpses. Let's see you do that. A battle dart. And a light belt. Arctic Arctic light belt. And whatever that battle dart is. My girlfriend's hilarious. I love my girlfriend. She just walks through the room and just does dumbass crap. And makes me laugh. Alright. We killed Pendle. We killed Shank. We killed Eldritch the Rective Fire. We killed the Traven Call. We killed the Diablo. We killed just about everybody worth killing. <laughs> I think we even killed Rock and Ishu. We didn't kill uh, Andariel. And we didn't kill Mephisto. You know what? Oh, I don't have freaking Durance of Hate level 3. What the hell? Is the uh, Travancall door open? It is. Interesting. Good. There's lots of chests in here anyway. Small charm? Killed the guy on the other side of the wall. I didn't think you could do that. An ogre ball. Look 
Klicki, klicki. Ah! Whole little elite pack of freaking undead sticky and dolls. A legend spike and a curios. Both of which would probably sell for pretty good. <laughs> oh, dude, I just walked past the undead to Siggy and Doll. I just walked past him as he was dying. By, I thought he was already dead. I literally, I, I sincerely thought he was already dead. That is just the silliness. That is just so much silliness. I don't even know what to think there. That's just... I think I'm just tired. What? Still got enough gold? I've been selling jank. All my gold's probably on the ground. Fine. Stupids. There's a big boy. A heckin' big boy. He the biggest. He the heckin' biggest boy. <laughs> I'm dumb. Man, when I put on this magic, all this magic fun gear, man, I, I'm just not. My character. It's not very good no more. Switch back. I'm gonna switch back to my regular gear. I think I'm about done doing magic fun runs for now. Didn't really find anything too super amazing. So whatever. My rack did mash back on. Throw on my bull cathos wedding band. Throw on my other bull cathos wedding band. Throw on my Mars kaleidoscope. Um, uh, I know I got better gloves than that. My Mage Fist Gauntlets for faster cast rate. And, uh, something else. Am I missing something else? No, I think that's it. Yeah, that puts me back on track. How much faster I attack, how much more damage I do. I do 2154 to 2226. Six skeletons. I am overburdened. And way more bounce slots. Not interested in that pellet bow. Even without my full magic find gear, I'm still running like, uh, I think 200%. Ish.
mage points. So, one socket. Hey, what's that? Mephisto. Don't forget I need the waypoint. These freaking chests, stashes, stashes, weapon racks, stashes, chests, stash, weapon rack, lock chest, stash. Just did so much the nice things to click on. I was clicking. that effect doesn't like murder my uh my minions doesn't work on mercs either A minion skull, I shall take it with all the powers of the world. Eh. Don't drop your mage fists on the ground, sir. Put them back. Still haven't found the waypoint. It's usually a chest over there, and there was not. It's a disappointment. spirit hmm. I, am overburdened. I do actually need to make a little bit of money to recoup all the money I've been spending on my mercenary my mer 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 mer. I can't do that. I can't do that here. I can't do that. I can't do that here. I need a key. I need a key. Pretty 
Fucking 10,000 gold? I'll take some 10,000 gold. I mean, the, the... Let my mark kill him. Get more loot that way. <laughs> Dang, Mephisto, you little, you little beefy today, huh? Kill him, Mert. It's a god awful drops. I've got the luck of the dogs today. Sword. An ort root over here. Well, Pooey. That's some terrible drops. Pooey, poopy, poopy. Poopy, poopy, poopy. Alright. I want to go and... What do I do? I want to do something. Pick up all gold. Let's go kill Bishy Boss real quick, too. Kid me, I don't have freaking old planes waypoint. Like the easiest waypoint to get in the existence of waypoints, and I don't have it. Because of reasons. I am ashamed. I am deadly ashamed. Demon shamed. Well, hello, Gloom Bite the Impaler. A freaking cutlass. Hello, Thirst. I'd like to introduce you to my bone spear. Some graves. I'll check those out. That's worth a check. It's worth it's worth an identify scroll. That was not worth an identify scroll. Those were awful. I feel bad having even picked them up. I can do 12 monsters now with my good gear on. Actually, hold on. My good gear on. I can do 14 monsters. I don't even have uh, the skills like, set up the way that I should have them set up. Like, uh, skill charms. 
I could be running skill charms and I have none. Oh, Bishy Bosh! So Bishy Bosh is a super unique uh, that exists in Cold Plains. He's a shaman. He's always fire immune, and uh, he has a pretty good chance to drop some interesting items in hell difficulty at the very least. I'm just gonna go kill him real quick. It'll be fun. Just something to do. Gem shrine right here. Let me go check and see if I actually have a gem. A flawless. I should have picked up at least one flawless while I was running around. And I didn't. It's too bad it doesn't upgrade runes. That'd be cool. No flawlesses. Eh, bees. Damaged Saxton trophy. Oh, Bishy Bosh. Burial grounds. Go murder Blood Raven real quick. She's super unique too. Ooh, is she magic uh, resistant? She seems to be taking very little damage from my bone spear. Seems like she's magic resistant. That's okay. My Merc will take care of you. Readily enough. An ancient axe and an edge bow. Meh. Bishy Bosh! Where are you, Bosh of the Bishy? I hadn't actually done that quest yet. A whole bunch of stuff that comes out of those beds like that. That's rude. Hey, flawless diamond. I have to go back up and grab that gem shrine. Gem shrines will permanently upgrade one gem to the next tier. 
If you use them with no gem in your inventory, you get crap. Where was it? It was like up this way, right? Ooh, some shark skin gloves. Let's check those. Ethereal. Nothing good on those. I'm gonna drop the orc rune for right now. I don't need it. Small charm. Five percent faster hit recovery. Dang. It's the second bit I got that didn't have much in it. Upgrade my flawless to a perfect. Sweet. Let's go check down here. Here's some little demons. Executioner sword. Nothing sweet. That's sad. Dropped a bone shield and a a field plate. Let's check the bone shield just to make sure it's not like some godlike little monster thing. Uh, and the field plate probably no good either. I think so. Terrible Bishibos, terrible. I mean, I got two rares out of, but uh, they weren't the rares I wanted, so. So terrible Bishibos. <laughs> There's other super uniques you can go after, too. Like, for instance, um, you can go over to Inner Cloister. Oh, no, Inner Cloister. Dang it, I don't have Inner Cloister. Urgh. No. Let's see, what are some other good ones? We didn't kill Andariel yet, but I don't really feel like killing her. I mean, she could drop us a ring. I guess. I guess there's that. You could drop us like a ring or an amulet. You can drop us a sword! Overboden. Supply two sockets with three to iron golem and one to summon resist. Holy multi shot. Devil hack. Nobody hacks the devil. Devil hack comes in the room. Sir, I think you have been mistaken your entire life. 
Or if you had only known the devil hack does, in fact. Hack the devil. Freaking a lost plane? Okay. We're gonna check that. It's definitely worth 35k. Yeah, that's terrible. You never know with uh, armors and stuff. They can be good. They can be terrible. It's 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 a, it's a toss up. It's not really something you can you can gauge without actually taking a look at them. He really didn't drop an item. Oh, he did. He dropped a flying axe. Champion's got some serious hit points. A mask. Not really super interested in the mask. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies. Let's all go to the movies and... And if I'm so snack. I'm whispering because we're at the movie. Joke. Stupid joke at that. Your jokes are so dumb. Salt helmet. Finally, something that might be all right. It's red. Freaking assault helmets look so freaking awesome when they're red. It's got like crap for stats though, but it's red. But is it red? I've heard that a lot, actually. Stop resurrecting your buddies. I'll just keep exploding their corpses. I will explode them until they're all dead and you can go. I exploded that one that you resurrected, sir. Well, that's some hacks. Can't remember if I quest bugged in, Darrell. I might have. Hello there, champion afflicted. Sounders. Spammy, 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 spam. Oh, spammy, 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 spam. Spammy, 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 spam. Ooh, a jewel and a Luna. OP jewel, OP jewel, OP jewel, OP jewel, OP jewel, OP jewel. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Failure. Luna. What is the Luna? Petaluna. Well, Petaluna, maybe? Black. Oak Shield, Luna, 4% chance to cast level 5 weakened when struck, 50% block rate, 167% enhanced defense, 
Dexterity based on character level. Life based on character level. Absorb cold based on character level. Half freeze duration. That's a lot of absorb cold. That is a lot of absorb cold. 51 absorb cold is a lot of absorb cold. I think I'm going to have to hold on to that. I think I'm going to have to. Let's, uh, let's go sell this stuff in town real quick. We'll come right back for it. Sell you. Sell you. Well, that's an interesting little shield. The order welcomes you. Why does it seem like 51 Absorb Cold could come in handy somewhere? Like, that is just some ridiculous Absorb Cold. What's up with that? You can't curse, um... Can't curse champion undead. A hell rune. I gave one of those out earlier. Well, we have officially cleared this. I mean, the only one we haven't killed is Duriel, and Duriel has a chance to drop like seven scrolls of town portal. I'm not like super excited about that one. I mean, granted, um, I might get an essence from him, and I could make a token because I have like a freaking three of all the other essences. <laughs> <sighs> been a long day. I think I'm going to retire a little bit early today. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I think we're going to do a horror game. I don't know what horror game yet, but um, I'm going to find one. And it's probably going to be a, uh, a YouTube stream, so if you're interested in that, um, catch me over there on YouTube, Ginger Gaming Mentor. Um, we also got the, uh, the Rune Word contest going on, so if you're interested in getting your hands on an enigma rune word in real life um you know we got the uh got the the, the rune word contest running that's on my youtube page go take a look at that and um that ends on august 2nd so you still have time to enter um also the ms paint drawings are up there if you want to see the uh that was a previous contest that has ended um it was a bunch of ms paint drawings that um were entered for a contest which was pretty cool Go take a look at those. It's a pretty short video. I just go over the, I just go over the drawings, and uh, here's the link to the rune word contest. If you're interested in that, and uh, you know, as always, thanks for um, thanks for watching, and uh, keep watching.